Hey guys, welcome back to Glory Hills Homestead. My name is Holly, thank you for joining us today. It's a really nice evening. I haven't started on evening chores yet. We're just gonna do a little bit of relaxing, um, make time for some fun things that we've been wanting to do. So we're gonna set up a little paint table and do some painting with the kids. And then I'm actually gonna go hammock a little bit in the calf yard. And so I thought I would just turn on the camera and kind of film as we do some fun things around the farm. <laughs> What did you find? Cute jumping. An old abandoned cucumber. Nice. I bet the chickens would like that. <laughs> two chickens. I don't know. You gonna keep it? Who wants to paint? Me. This whole week mm -hmm. the high has been like, I don't know, mid to high 80s, but it totally feels like we're going into fall. It makes me so happy. Normally Oklahoma likes to pull what we call like a fake fall, and then the second summer, and then the real fall. And I think, I think we might have just went straight to the real fall this year. Also, we got our first little tiny pumpkin for the year. This was a volunteer pumpkin. Somebody gave us some organic pumpkins um, from Whole Foods last year and we just threw them out to the goats after they were done being decor um, and they reseeded and grew little baby pumpkins. So I'm so excited. <gasps> that chocolate. I did show that chocolate. Ooh, chocolate. You want your pet? Use this one for now? Yeah. And we'll save that so we don't lose it, okay? So back in the day, I actually used to paint a lot, except my medium was either oil paints or acrylics. And so it's been, gosh, um, since we lived at the old house about four years ago that I've like sat down and done like a very intentional painting. But I do love to paint. I will insert right now a picture of the last painting that I did. What you doing, Storm? You know how people do uh, goat yoga? I feel like calf hammocking could totally be the new thing. <laughs> and they push you, so that's kind of fun. I really am just so excited for fall. Not just because of the weather and the beautiful change in scenery and all of that, but to me, fall represents a time of rest and boy after spring and summer on a homestead. Do you feel like you need some rest? I feel like I've been going, going, going since February. Yeah, basically like Feb the start of February because she was born February 2nd. Um, so I'm just really, really excited for things to slow down. I'm excited to not be working outside like eight hours a day. Um, and if I'm going to be outside, I can just kind of choose to be outside because I want to be outside. I don't really plan on doing much of a fall garden. I'm just ready for a relaxing break, so that's what I'm hoping for. Um, I mean, gosh, going into the spring, it's really been a crazy year. Uh, spring started out with Stormy being born, then we had goat kids being born. We had five goat kids born. Um, we lost one of our mamas. Um, not immediately, it was like a five week postpartum thing. So the whole five weeks postpartum, she had a medical issue that I was trying to help her with. Um, so that was very time intensive. I was milking that mom, I was milking Gracie, and I was milking Honey. So I was doing five milkings a day by hand and bottle feeding three goat babies. And so for, you know, a several week stretch, I was bottling goat kids 
even all through the night, um, every two hours, and then five milkings a day by hand, so on top of being a mom and a wife and all that stuff. So it was, that was a lot, and I honestly feel like I'm still tired from that season. I always love fall and winter, but I feel like this year I really, really need the break. So I'm super excited for it because next spring it starts all over again. And it's amazing. I love spring. I love that spring brings new life and new things growing. Hey, Stormy. What you doing, baby? Like this. This is what springtime brings, is little babies like this. So spring is a great thing. I love spring. And I'm always desperately eager for spring. But I feel this year very desperately eager for the season of slowing down. So I'm excited for that. Well, David is home now. You guys haven't seen much of him in videos lately, so we're gonna go hang out with him while he's home for a little bit, and you guys can see him while he's here. So guys, I'm on this video. As you can see, there's my wife. Um, so lately, there has been a lot of drama at work. Uh, again, I am a police officer. I won't necessarily name where, but uh, we had a guy end up getting let go. And um, as a result of that, I've been covering a lot of shifts. So uh, this last two weeks, I think I'll have it right around 150 hours for two weeks. 12 hour shifts, uh, something, again, I'm not really used to working that many hours. I've only had off two days, so. Okay, so we're gonna share mine for a sec. I'm, I'm milking right now. Um, but David is also gonna start a secondary channel, um, which is really exciting. Now that we're going into hunting season, he's gonna start a um, channel specifically for all things hunting. So it's gonna be like an outdoor channel. Yeah. Uh, it's called Glory Hills Hunts. Um, now, unfortunately, I won't be as good as editing as my lovely wife here. She edits all the videos on this uh, channel. But again, it will be like archery and firearms and um, just being outdoors, you know? Yeah. Hunting and skinning and all that good stuff. Last year we tried to do a little bit of that on this channel and it actually tanked our views a lot, farming versus hunting, two different categories. Um, but it is very heavily entwined into homesteading and how we feed our family through the winter. Another cool thing is, I think what we'll end up doing is on this channel, we'll have all the processing. So later on we're gonna go um, I have a part-time job at a processor, uh, that's really just to make dog food, but we're going to go in there and film a video on how to process a, a cow, and uh, as well as pigs and chickens and deer. popped off when I was moving the cart and just got all over me and if you know iodine that stuff is messy so the other day honey laid down in a sticker patch this is what Opie is called a sticker I don't know if it'll fit. it's just a sand burr basically or like a, some people call it a goat head um, but our property is full of them she must have bedded down in a big patch of them because when she came to her evening milking she had cuts all over her teats which has made milking kind of difficult the last few days because she's not wanting to let down as much and also um, while they're healing they're kind of scabbing over and stuff so that's been a little bit disheartening. I love using this Corona ointment. This is not great everyday stuff if they don't have any issues but it's great if they have any cuts that they're trying to heal. Um, if they're really chapped, things like that, it's super thick and it'll stay on them really well. So David made some yummy smoked chicken. He brined it for about 24 hours and then put it in the smoker. I'm gonna do a taste test and see what we think. Do you like how it's sweet and salty? I don't like the texture. I love the flavor. That's right. It is, it is fantastic. If you like dry chicken, I don't know what's wrong with you. The flavor is good. It's really wet. 
It's moist. It's a moist chicken. Moist chicken to me tastes like raw chicken. Flavor's great. I like my chicken. But it's a lot drier. Kind of dry. It looks looks like how people would get it at a barbecue. Exactly. It's just not what I like. Okie doke guys, so I smoked some awesome chicken. Holly's not the biggest fan of it because it's moist. Now if you're so let me ask you guys this. Comment below and tell me if you like moist or dry chicken. Uh, I'm a person, I'm more of a moist kind of person. Uh, so I like my chicken a little moist compared to Holly, which she likes it really dry. I like all of my meats dry. I want things to taste like beef jerky. She likes crispy bacon and I like you know moist bacon. So but remember you guys are loved. We'll catch you guys on the next one. As Esther 414 says, you're made for such a time as this. Bye. Bye.